they're they're very similar in terms of the role that they play in the show and they're so different musically it's really interesting yeah. it's the lead protagonist right joseph and jesus alone on stage basically singing a song about their loneliness and about what they're going to do next and and uh it's their big solo and it's so different in the two shows. Visit thebroadwayraven.com to find out about our free Jesus Christ Superstar class on March 12th and 13th. Joseph and Jesus Christ Superstar are two shows that are by the same composing team, um, very close together chronologically, and, and both about biblical subject matter. Um, but they're very musically different. Um, and here are a few of the ways in which they're different. And I think the reason they're different is because of the target audience, right? Joseph was started to be written for um, uh, school and, and children to consume the music. Whereas Jesus Christ Superstar uh, from the get-go was a little bit more adult um, and sent a little bit more of a, of a not anti-church message, but a provocative message about whether or not Jesus was just a man. Um, whereas Joseph sticks very truthfully to the Bible and doesn't ask any questions of the biblical material in the same way that Jesus does. So Jesus, Jesus Christ Superstar is a little bit more, um, a little bit more provocative and a little bit more, like I said, thoughtful. Um, whereas Joseph is just, this is the story. Isn't it fun? Um, and so th it, that reflects in the music, that kind of change in attitude. Uh, and I'm going to show you a few of the ways. The first most obvious way to me is the rhythm. If you look at the, the way that the rhythm is structured in both of these shows, um, the, for example, the big solo of, uh, of, the, of the lead protagonist, right? We have Close Every Door for Joseph and we have Gethsemane for Jesus. And Close Every Door is in a waltz time. It's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it makes it, uh, it feels a little bit, it's, it's a ballad, it's nice, it's relaxed, and it's very pretty, you know? Um, the children of Israel are never alone, for we know we shall find our own peace of mind. Bum, ba, dum, num, bum, ba, dum, ba, bum. You know, it lulls you into this kind of, um, this kind of lullaby, this kind of sway. Whereas compare that with uh, Gethsemane it, from Jesus Christ Superstar. Um, uh, what's the key? I have to, have to know. I have to know. I have to know, my Lord. I have to know. I have to know, my Lord. I have to see it. Have to see, my Lord. I have to see it. Have to see, my Lord. If I die, what will be my reward? If I die, what will be my reward? Have to know, I have to know, my lord. Have to know, I have to know, my lord. Right, like it's it's totally, um, it's totally different musically. We have this syncopated rhythm, right? I have to know, I have to know, my lord. Ba 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 ba. So syncopation is when the rhythm doesn't fall exactly on the beat. Um, so instead of being, I have to know, I have to know, it's, I have to know, I have to know, my lord, I have to know, I have, it's, and that syncopation creates a lot of excitement and energy and adrenaline, whereas the, the waltz kind of lulls you into this, um, sense of security, almost. Um, so that contrast is very interesting to me. Um, and then we have, like, if you think about the opening number, uh, depending on how you define the opening number of Joseph, like if you say any dream will do, right? Oops. It's like, it's this, it's swung, first of all, instead of the, instead of the eighth notes being even, one and two and three and four, that would sound like. Instead of that, we have this swing, right? 
N2, N3, N4, N1, bum 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 bum. So instead of da 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 da, that driving rhythm where the eighth notes are straight, instead we get the swing da 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 da, da which is very makes it feel very chill, you know, very laid back. Dum da dum da dum da dum. Um, any dream will hide for my coat. Bum ba dum bum bum. Right, and then compare that to. Like syncopation too, right? And even even eighth notes, one dun 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 dun, and syncopated. If it was exactly on the beat, right, it would be. But it's not. It's totally different, and it's like low down. It's bassy. It uses this like flat. That E flat, which is a really weird note in the in the key, like it's it's so um, night and day different from like the chill, laid back. Isn't this lovely vibe of Joseph? Um, it's it's not saying isn't this lovely. It's saying pay attention. We're gonna challenge your perceptions. Sign up for next week's Jesus Christ Superstar class at thebroadwaymaven.com. But in terms of the place in the book, they're both songs about loneliness and songs about isolation. It's at the low point of each of their lives, right? Mm -hmm. Between Close Every Door and Gethsemane. Yeah, which is yeah, interesting. They, they're, they're very similar in terms of the role that they play in the show, and they're so different musically. It's really interesting. Yeah. It's the lead protagonist, right? Joseph and Jesus, alone on stage, basically, singing a song about their loneliness and about what they're gonna do next, and and uh, it's their big solo. And it's so different in the two shows. And then the same with like Heaven on Their Minds versus Any Dream Will Do. These both start off the show. They set the tone for the rest of the show. And Any Dream Will Do is like, this is going to be really, this is going to be pleasant and nice and fun. And Heaven on Their Minds is like, this is going to, this is going to make you think. And this is going to make you scared a little bit. And this is going to change yeah. what you think. And then the last thing is the range. If you have like, like, um, uh, depending on the version, right, Joseph's big note at the end of Close Every Door is either an F or a G. Um, some people do it in a higher key, some people do it in a lower key, but even if it's in the highest key it possibly is, That's it. That's the that's as big and high as he goes. Ah! But then, in the first in the first minute of the show, Judas goes higher than that. He goes Jesus on an A, ah! right? Instead of ah! Ah! it's higher in the first minute of the show, and he stays there. Really talk of God is true. So G is like Joseph's big note that he hits once in the whole show. And Judas, already in the first minute of Jesus Christ Superstar, is screaming a high A. As a preview for those of you who are coming next week, I've got a clip of Stephen Colbert, who's actually a wonderful musical theater performer, doing Heaven on Their Minds. His, his uh, Jesus is a bit of a falsetto, but still, it's really, really entertaining. So hang on to your hats. You'll see that next week. So well, it's thank you so much. High. Huh? It's insanely high. And yes. then you think about uh, in, in Gethsemane, right? The, the, um, have to know, have to know my Lord, have to know, I'd have to know my Lord. Why should I die? He hits a high G, which is a full octave above the G from Joseph. It's a full octave. It's a soprano high G. Insane. The Broadway Maven is the only free weekly Broadway appreciation course you'll find online. Every week we look at topics as diverse as Wicked, Mel Brooks musicals, and Gershwin on Broadway. The Broadway Maven's Weekly Blast comes out every Thursday. It contains essays, reviews, YouTube gems, surveys, and more. Please like and subscribe. And here's a Piano Talks playlist.